Scroll and Dagger presents Quest of Ruin. Episode 12 The Monolith. Hello, and welcome to Quest of Ruin, the post apocalyptic fantasy role playing podcast. I am your host and game master, and with me I have the players of Lathar Mon Run. Hello. Yayla Tangleweave. Hey up, Chucks. Aeolin Skullfumper. Sup. Belink the Goblin. That's me. And the recently kidnapped Viriath Quensin. Yay. Aw, you don't want to be a vampire? Not particularly. No. I mean, Stats are rubbish. you don't know that's what they're going to do. Yeah, all that creepy stuff they were saying was really open to interpretation, right? Maybe they just really want to be friends. Weird, weird friends. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Shall we find out? You all wake up and all immediately come to the same, fairly obvious conclusion. The reef's gone. What do you mean, gone? They're absent. Where could they have gone? I'm sure they just went out for a breath of fresh air. I don't think they slept all night. No, they didn't even wake me up for my turn on watch. Did you see them when you took your turn? I believe so. They were still sat by the entrance. I don't think I saw them move. Do you think they were still worried? (sighs) About turning into a vampire, you mean? No, they're not stupid. So what was bugging them? I did think I saw something. What? Before they left, I thought I saw one of the vampires say something to Varith. I just thought it was a threat or something vile, but I don't know. Do you think it could have been something more? Like what? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was just something that bothered them. Maybe. Well, they can't have gone far. Come on. Ashlander! Ashlander! Where are they? No sign of them. Yes, there is. What? There are footprints. Come here, look. I don't see anything. They are faint, but you can still just make them out, you see? Oh, yes. You think they're the Ashlanders? Not just for reefs. There are two more sets. And here, they were dragged away. How? Look, there are two sets of prints either side of this furrow. Two people carrying something heavy between them. The vampires, do you think? Almost certainly. The question is, why would they kidnap the Ashlander? Maybe, maybe, maybe they did turn them into a vampire after all. No, that's impossible. But maybe they're taking them to be turned. Perhaps their high blood is nearby. Varith is quite a powerful mage. These vampires might want to use that. But where would they be based? I told you, there was never a blood coven this far north. Look, we're wasting time. We can worry about all that stuff later. Right now, we know that Varith has been carried off, and we have a trail that I mean to follow. Yes, yes, okay, you're right. Let's go. Oh, well, let's hope we're not too late. All right, we're nearly there. Should we take the gag off, let them breathe for a while? Very well. But if they attempt a spell, be ready to stop them. We can't risk any complications. We are too close. No tricks, Ashlander. Don't make me hurt you. I promise. No tricks. But where are we? Don't you recognize it? A once prosperous village. A place of homes and happiness. It just looks like lumps of stone. Exactly. Those lumps were once the village of Tinuhaven. It was a place of refuge for our kind. Before the Horde came. You can help us. It can be a refuge again. Better than before. You're getting ahead of yourself, sister. Let's just concentrate on getting there first. Come on. We don't have long until noon. You intend to turn me, do you not? Turn me into a vampire? Of course. But why? We've told you, Ashlander. You're powerful. But you, as one of us, we'd be a force to be reckoned with. But, but surely you already are. The way you fought us yesterday, 
if there are more of you, and then, and then, then, then there are those, those beasts you control, those thastas. What need could you possibly have? There are not so many of us, and the thirsters do not hunt for us. They hunt after us. I, I do not understand. We're runaways. We were brought into a blood coven down south. Pack of decrepit wastes of skin. Just sitting around, talking about the good old days. Pathetic. We were more interested in creating a new age of greatness for our kind. Our high bloods wouldn't hear of it. So we left. The high bloods send these thirsters after us. Problem is, they'll keep coming after us. We're just fledglings out of a coven, you see. Vulnerable. Weak. But if we had high bloods of our own, enough to create our own coven, then they wouldn't be so quick to attack us. And if our first high blood was also a mage? Then they'd really think twice. But how can you make me a vampire? I thought you needed a, what did you call it, a high blood. We once thought that too. But we discovered an ancient secret in our old coven. I mean, it was obvious when you think about it. After all, if only a high blood can turn another vampire, then where would the first of our kind have come from? And we found the answer. One of the reasons why we left. It all began here, you see? Far up here in the north. I still do not... Oh, sands preserve me. <laughs> You're a long way from any sands, Ashlander. How? What is that thing? The monolith. The eternal symbol of the master of all. That which we all serve. I cannot even see the top. In time, you will. Come, we don't have long. Can you see them? No! They can't be much further ahead. I don't know. They moved pretty fast yesterday. But where could they be going? We're out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe they have some kind of den. Some caves or something like that. Uh, it's possible, I suppose. But you don't think so. Uh, the vampires I've encountered were never too fond of caves. They preferred grandeur to appear impressive. Caves can be impressive. Any dwarf would tell you that. Yes, yes, I know. But vampires prefer the grandeur of castles, or grand vistas. Vampires like to feel superior, to look down on those they view as their lessers. They would view living underground as, well, grubby. Hmm, but surely they still shelter in a cave, to get out of cold weather, or the sun. Uh, I suppose they would at a push. But they wouldn't be happy about it, and they'd quickly look for an alternative. Don't see many alternatives around here. Where's Yale gone? What? Oh, there she is. Why is she kneeling down like that? Well, I don't know, do I? Let's go and find out. I'll hang back here, just in case. Right. Stay low. We are, we are. But what... By all the gods. Look at the size of that thing. What is it? Something bad. Something very bad. You know what it is? Not at all. But I can sense something from it. Some kind of aura. Not a good one, I'm guessing. No. It's oppressive. It feels like a cage. Like someone has a foot on your back and it's pushing you down. And I'm guessing that's where our fledgling friends have dragged the Ashlander. How are we supposed to get close? It's right out in the open. They'd see us coming a mile away. I don't know, but we'll have to think of something quickly. I don't know why they took the Ashlander, but I'd be willing to bet it's not for anything good. Wait, look. You see over there? It looks like some ruins. No doubt that's where the vampires have been living. Yes, but they might give some cover. Hmm, possibly. We'd need to be careful about it. Come on, let's get back to Aeolin. We'll think of something. Is this the one? Yes. This is the... 
I smell elf blood. Fool! The ritual will not work on an elf. Watch your tongue, Waldemar. This one is only part elven. They're an Ashlander of the South. Elven and human. And a mage. <gasps> a mage? Yes. And powerful. The perfect candidate. Perhaps. Perhaps not. You have something more to say, Waldemar? I have heard of Ashlanders. Nomads that travel across the volcanic plains and the other Southlands, roaming free wanderers. That's why they will be perfect. To turn from the eternal traveler to serve the master of all. What could be a greater show of devotion? You see, they will be rewarded. Power greater than any high blood has ever known. And we shall share in it. Does that satisfy you? <laughs> for now. We don't have time for your agitation. The enemy are already moving. What? I was granted knowledge from the monolith. The damned half elf, Agri Passa, and her excuse of a church have already tried to raise a new herald. Wait, what? They were thwarted. But they will try again. We must act fast if we are to beat them. You... you cannot be thinking of trying to make this nomad the highest! That's exactly what we're thinking. With them as the highest, we'll be untouchable, undeniable. This is heresy! That is not your decision to make, fool. The master will decide. Today. What did I present? You will not use that thing here. Apologies. You don't know better yet, but you will. And if I do not wish to. What you wish is of no consequence. You will be offered to the monolith. And if the master of all decides you will serve, then you shall. And you will rejoice to do so. Trust me. I am afraid. I do not full My apologies. You will see when you come into your power. You will thank me. You best hope they do. Come, bring them to the monolith. The time is almost upon us. Did you see anyone? A few, but they're all running off. They're heading for that big stone thing. Which means there'll be more of them gathered around where the Ashlander is. Hmm, which will make it harder to get them out. Being honest, I don't see how we pull this off. But we have to try, though. Yes, yes, obviously we do. I'm just saying that we just about held our own against five of them, and who knows how many there are over there. A distraction, maybe? Blink? You think you could cause a big enough explosion? Uh, not with what I've got here. If I use everything all in one go, maybe. But then I'd have nothing left to deal with them coming after us. Annoyingly, for this sort of thing, we need the Ashlander. Well, they aren't here, are they? Yes, thank you. The frustration of our situation is not lost on me. Hey, Yela, you see what I see over there? What? Oh. You think maybe we could... What? Are you... Oh, you can't be serious. That would be foolhardy even for us. True, but I can't think of any better ideas. Can you? Hold on. No, no, I can't. Uh, all right, Yela, Belink, you go on ahead. Get their attention. You'll be faster. Aeolin and I shall try to guide them in the right direction. No, oh, brilliant. Don't worry. You will all be over soon. No. Brothers, sisters, for too long we have lived in the shadows of the old high bloods, forced to obey the commands of withered husks of what our kind once But now, in the shadow of the monolith, our true master, we may take back what we once were. By the high bloods, we were made, and only by them can we be made high bloods ourselves.
lives. Or so we were told. We now know their lies. And here we will give new birth to our kind. We will remake the vampire race anew. For it was here that we were first made. It is by the monolith that we came to be. It is our true master, the master of all, the lord of domination, that which the lesser fools named the Titan. And to mark our rebirth, we have here an unwilling soul, one opposed to the will of the master, and they will be broken to the monolith's will. They shall fall beneath it and then rise again as highest, herald of the monolith's will. We stand in the monolith's shadow. The ritual is begun. Remove their gag so that they may share in the blood of their new kin. No, no, please, do not do this! I understand your fear, trust me. I felt the same way before I was brought under the master. You will soon understand. Here now. Open their mouth. My apologies. <laughs> My turn. I'll hold them for you. None of the rest of you will touch me. Fulga. Fulga. Don't worry. Once the ritual is complete, your power will be returned to you, and you'll be stronger than ever. No! What was that? It, it came from over there. Ignore it. We can't stop now. Right, Norling, you next. No. Not now! They're coming! How? Look, it's that damned elf in the orc. Hey, Yolin, like that. We'll deal with them. Finish the ritual, sister. Norling, move yourself, fool! If I survive this, I'm gonna kill you, Marvrood. It was Balink's idea, remember? And I didn't hear you suggesting anything better. Quick! Duck round here! Oh, very well. You were right. They're heading straight for the vampires. Oh, yes. Ooh. Thank the gods. But weren't they attack the wreath too? I, I don't think so. They've been instructed to hunt down the runaway fledglings, and there's enough of them to keep them busy while we free the Ashlander. Clever little elves. Oh. But we're not letting you disturb the ritual. You won't be able to stop us. Well, I'd say that worked very well. Yes, they're heading right for the circle. Now Lathar and Aeolin can... Where are they? Uh, Yela? What? Oh, spirit! We better run! You're strong. You'd make an excellent servant. Uh, sorry, but the sight of blood makes me nauseous. You make me nauseous. Oh! You're right. Yes. But we're running out of time and they're not budging. I thought they want to go back and help their friends. <laughs> oh, the others can deal with the hounds. I'm not done playing with you yet. We have our job to do, and we will see it done. Uh, we don't have time for this. Oh, we know. Don't let them go, you, Aelin. Level head, we can... What in the... <sighs> Is that... What the... Oh, oh, go! Yela? Go! We can hold them here! Right. Oh no, you don't. Oh no. You're mine now. <laughs> this is taking too long. The ritual cannot be rushed. Just focus on keeping these things away from the shadow. You're so close. We can't stop now. How much longer will it take? The hounds are killing many of us. But we have killed plenty of them. They will not be able to stop us. Not now. See, the Ashlander is already beginning to submit. 
soon <coughs> it will be time. They will fall beneath the shadow of the master, then rise again as the highest, and then no one, not these hounds, nor these fools who send them, will be able to stop us. <coughs> I can't, I, I cannot, <coughs> I cannot. Shh. Don't fret, it will all be soon. My lady! What? Ashlanda! <laughs> they thought Never. Keep the ritual going. You have somewhat of mine. You insolent little flea. They are the masters now. Well, you can tell your master that the Ashlander has a prior commitment. Not if you are dead. Ah! Ashlander, get me out of these damn chains, Monolan! What? Oh, nice. That was a hell of a roll. Okay, Matt. So, uh, Ina is temporarily down, and I will be checking your dice after we finish because you must have done some blood sacrifice type stuff to pull off a roll like that. Um, will, you're up. Okay. Okay. Uh, I make my way up to the altar, and with my elven steel sword. Yes, we're all very impressed. I'll cut Varith's chains, lift them up, and help them off the altar. Ah, uh, how am I at the moment? I'll be honest. You're not doing so good. Uh, despite being able to cast a lightning bolt, apparently, you are really messed up from the ritual. It has taken a serious toll on you, mentally and physically. And now we're stuck in the middle of a whole bunch of vampires. Okay, so it's my go, yeah? Yes, but oh, no. before you can act, something happens. As soon as Varith steps from the altar, a sort of shockwave passes through the vampires. As one, their skin begins to sizzle and steam. Oh, oh, oh boy. Whatever protection the monolith was giving them from the sun has now been lifted. And fledglings might be okay in dim sunlight, but it is now the middle of the day. Dagmar, Halfnor, Ina, all of them, and the Thirsters, are howling in pain. Before any of you can react, they're sprinting away, desperately seeking shelter. Oh, nice. Can I shoot an arrow after one of them? You can try, but it will be disadvantaged because they're moving at a hell of a pace. Eh, I'll leave it then. Okay, and I think we'll leave it there. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us and we'll... Whoa! Oh my god, Matt! Jeez, Matt, what? are you right? I, I think he fainted. Go get him some water. Right, yep, hang on. Quest of Ruin is a podcast distributed by Scroll and Dagger and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. Today's episode was written by Gareth Cadogan and C.L. Barry. It was produced by Gina Moriarty and directed by Gareth Cadogan. Original music was produced by Evangelos and Narcissatos. To see the full cast list, view show notes and ways to support us, visit scrollandagger.com and rate us wherever you find your podcasts. Thank you for listening.